you know, I guess I guess we won't be seeing each other anytime soon, if that's how you feel. Look, you know I love you a lot. You know I'll do anything for you, but, but like, the little nitpick things are just... Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you later. I wonder if... I wonder if Julia... Oh, she'll know what to do. Julia. Hey, Dane, what's up? Oh, uh, um, nothing much. I just, um, wanted to talk to you about some stuff. Your girlfriend? Uh, how'd you know? Kind of heard you. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just trying to... It's okay. It's all cool. Why don't you come on inside and talk? Are you sure about I mean, that? it's cold out there. Come on. Okay. So, I, uh, my girlfriend, I mean, I love her a lot, but she just seems to want to start arguments all the time, mm -hmm. and it gets really frustrating, and I don't know what to do right. anymore, because I mean, I don't, I, I really want to stay with her and try to make things work, but as it is going, I don't know how much longer, you know. I'm going to be able to put up with this, let alone, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, how's your sex life, though? Oh, um, it's fine. Her and I always had great sex, even though we argued. That's a problem, too. But I don't see how that's to do with, you know, us arguing outside of with this intimacy. Well, you know, I mean, sometimes people stay together for, you know, because the sex is good, and sometimes they don't, so. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I am staying with her because the sex is really good, mm -hmm. but everything else kind of sucks about the relationship. Right. Yeah. So, um, um, you know, what kind of things did you guys do that, that you liked? Oh, we, we, you know, we go on walks and stuff. Well, no, I mean sexually. Sexually? Mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of it's kind of personal. I mean, I I mean, I, I really respect your opinion on many things, but I don't, I don't feel really comfortable talking right, yeah. about that with you. It's kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, you know, life is hard, and uh, relationships aren't always easy, right? Yeah, that's for damn sure. Do you think you guys are gonna stay together? Or? I think so. I mean, just going through a tough time, I guess. Right. You know, I have to be honest with you. I am. Um, everybody's got issues, Dan. Yeah. Seriously, you know, everybody's got their problems and stuff like that. And you know, I've got my issues, which is probably why I'm sitting here listening to you blubber about this. You know, just quite honestly, I, I um. I don't really care about what you're going through, you know? I, I, I'm seriously, I, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, your relationship and everything is, uh, you know, not what you want it to be, but, you know, at the same... Mm. Perfectly reasonable time to wake up in my book. Coffee? Sure. 
So, your sister and Robert went downtown to get something to eat and watch a movie. Your father is out running errands. He left before I woke up. Ah. You guys okay? Or? Do you ever get that feeling that the walls are closing in? And the only way to survive is to try something totally new? All the time. I, I get that feeling every time I look into your father's eyes. Every time I drive up to this house, I just feel like I will never be able to get out. Yeah, like you're never going to get to experience anything new or see anything new? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, that's actually why Jessica left me. She said it was too adventurous, so. Yeah, well, if I know myself, I have no plans of calming down. You know, your father always said that you would be the one who would make a difference in the world. <laughs> the troublemaker. Uh, the last part sounds like me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I better get upstairs and get dressed, you know, get out of the house for a little bit myself. What are your plans? Nothing, just, um, you know, I figured everybody was going to get together and do something later. Well, I would invite you for a pedicure with me, but I don't think you'd be interested. No, I'm actually ticklish, so. <laughs> well, have a good day. See you later. You are passionate, you're sensitive, you want to do things, and you want to see the world. Yeah, well, I'm sorry things are so rough for you. I'm sure you find ways to get out, though. I have an idea. Why don't you uh, come inside with me? You do want to feel alive, don't you, Sam? Even if it's for a few minutes? <laughs> hey, Dad. How was your day? Don't. Fucking don't. I've been here 20 minutes. Dad.
Dad, is there anything I can do to help? Just meet me in the car in 10 minutes. Might as well keep our dinner plans. It's a good restaurant. We really wouldn't want you to miss it. What just happened? I guess it's just gonna be the three of us at dinner. <sighs> I hope he finally tells me that I was adopted. Tells me that I was adopted. Just, uh, here working on a school project. Then who? Uh, oh, never mind. Was there uh, something wrong? Uh, <clears throat> no. Uh, well, it looks like you're hungry. <laughs> you want me to make you a sandwich or something? Yeah, sure. Okay. To, to bond a little bit more. <laughs> Listen, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot and it's, it's really important to me that we, we develop a, a good relationship. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I came in yesterday, I was really stressed out, so I'm sorry if I snapped on you or anything, you know. Oh, you don't need to apologize. <laughs> you know, they say that the closest friends always start up fighting. <laughs> hey, I'm going to make the greatest dinner ever. You're going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. We're going to have so much goddamn fun, we're not going to know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, let me get started. <laughs> okay. Well, how is it? It's amazing. You didn't have to do this. I wanted to. You know, I see why my dad fell in love with you. You're incredible. I feel terrible about being such a jerk to you earlier. Oh, stop. You don't have to keep apologizing. I'm just, I'm just glad we got past this. You know, Heather's really happy that <clears throat> you're here and we've been able to bond and that you guys bonded a little bit. She told me you guys were able to bond. Yeah. She's, uh, real interesting, that one. <laughs> well, I'd like to take a little credit for that. <laughs> after all, <clears throat> she does take after her mother. You know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> they do say that. So, listen. Why don't you talk to me about yourself? What, what is life like out in school for you? Um, do you have a girlfriend? Well, kind of, I mean. She doesn't make you happy. Uh, it's not really that. It's just, I think I was just caught up in school and... Didn't really give her. Well, it's understandable. You're young. 
you, you need to experience life and experience different women. That way you can figure out for yourself what you truly want huh. as a female. What do you think? Uh, you're going to be a bad influence on me, aren't you? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I look at it as um, motherly guidance. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's the kind of guidance that my mother would have given me, but uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Listen, I think a lot of mothers are just not comfortable sharing the truth with their children. But I, on the other hand, will be very, very honest with you. Okay, son? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Wow, this 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 is really amazing. You still have yet to see <clears throat> a lot more amazing things coming from me. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna go take a shower now, you know it's been out all day and stuff so I really appreciate this I mean again you didn't have to <clears throat> it was my pleasure <laughs> Jana, the food's going to be here in 15. Hey. What's wrong? Nothing. Um, the kids, um, Orion and Nina, I mean, um, they're not going to be joining us for dinner. Why's that? I think they are taking advantage of uh, being in a strange bed. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't you think it's a little disrespectful? I think that I'm going to have to have a talk with them because I need to have a talk with them. Are you guys getting along? I think he hates me. He doesn't hate you, honey. Barely knows you. Um. Well, if it's any consolation, he barely knows you and he definitely hates you. I doubt that very much. She's right. It's, it's funny. Um, the only person that seems to get it actually is Nina. My hatred for you has affected my entire life, and for that, I'm sorry. Not for not not to you. I'm not sorry for hating you. I'm sorry that I have let your lack of parental responsibility affect me. It's all the same. We're gonna be leaving tomorrow. Fun. I knew I should have fucking called you. You know what? Your whole fucking entire life, you've blamed what happened between your mother and I solely on me. And I thought that you would actually grow up and become an adult and realize that there are two sides to every story. But you don't want to see it that way. And frankly, I don't give a shit anymore. You want to stay another night? That's fine. But I'm not going to be here. Wait, don't go. Are you happy? You got what you wanted? You need to know that after today, 
I'm not ever going to think about you ever again. That's an interesting way to put it. Think about me? Have you been thinking about me? No. <laughs> oh my god. No, I need to get at you. Come on. Did you like that? I, no, 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 no. Just gotta rip on yourself, man. Oh, just chill out. Just chill out. Ah, call Julie. Yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna call your girlfriend. That's the smart thing to do. Ah. Ooh. Hey, Julie. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh. Did I get you at a bad time? You're, you're busy, huh? Oh, no. What? Oh, baby, that's... Oh, my God, that is absolutely incredible. I, I mean, how many Reese's macaques did they find? Holy shit. Yes, oh, please, please. Photos, send, send me anything, you know? I, I, I want to see you, baby. Yeah, I miss you, too. Oh, 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 here? Um... I, oh, everything's everything's fine, you know. It's just totally totally normal. <laughs> oh, do, do I do I sound winded? Well, I, you know, it's uh, it's tough work. I'm just just a little tired, is all. <laughs> yeah, well, you know her, right? She's she's a handful. Oh yeah, you can say that again. Um. Uh. Well. All right. I mean, if if you have to get back to work, I. No, no, I understand. Well, look, hey, if, if, if you get some free time later, how about, um, how you just give me a call? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I love you, too. Bye. Oh, shit. Well, what was I supposed to do? Ask you for help? My stepson? 